<laughs> Baby girl, calm down. Uh uh. Just come over to my place. See, I look like that place in the room. How far now? How far now? We stay on to this house. So, welcome to our home. Thank you very much. This is your reminder, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Please, have your seat, sir. Make yourself comfortable. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, you're welcome. How are you? Bye, then. Uh, Toby, meet my pastor. Hey. pastor. This is Toby, my roommate and friend. You are very welcome, sir. Thank you very yes, much. Yes, sir. Thank you. You know what happened? I saw my pastor passing our streets. I had to block him. I had to practically drag him <laughs> so that he can come and pray and bless us in this house. This is you. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Thank you You're very welcome. much. welcome. Before I forget, that company you recommended me to. I got the job, sir. Wow! I got the job. A big congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. That's Thank you very much. They even asked me to bring my documents today so that uh, they can sign. And then they also asked me to come with a guarantor. You know, uh, in this city, I don't have anybody. It is just you and uh, Toby, my friend here. So I don't know. Please, sir, I will want you to be my guarantor. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Ah, seriously? I will do that for you. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. I Stand up. Why are you really? It's a normal thing that everybody can do. Thank you, sir. Let me get you something to drink, sir. No, wait. You don't need to bother yourself. I'm okay. No, no. Nah. You cannot come to our house and we don't offer you something to drink, bah? That's true. Please, let me get you something. Please, I'll come here. Don't bother yourself. <laughs> I must get you something, sir. <laughs> so, how are you doing? I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. Oh, you're welcome once again, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Um, <coughs> sir, um, and there's something I would like to tell you, sir. Okay. Actually, it's about this my roommate, Shekun. Okay. Um, you know, you are a man of God, sir, and a respected one at that. I won't want you to do something that will get you into trouble or even dent your image. Actually, because I overheard him saying that you are going to stand as his guarantor. So that's why, sir. I say, let me tell you this thing. So nothing will drag you into um, the things you don't even know. So you see this, my roommate, Shego. <laughs> what that boy? Wait. Um, can you get me a glass of water, please? Okay, okay, sir. Yes. Let me. I'm coming. Okay. Sorry, I took long, sir. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. So, okay, you are done. Let me quickly drop it, sir. Sorry. Hey. Welcome, sir. What is it? Um, sir, this uh, my roommate Shegun has a very bad habit, and that habit has made people reject him, sir. That habit is stealing. He steals everywhere. In all the companies that he has been working, this is my friend, they are seen like this. He steals them. That is why they have been firing him, sir. He doesn't last in any company. Anywhere he goes to, whatever he sees, whether from the manager or anywhere, he, he will take it. So I'm just telling you, sir. So he does not stain your name in that company. Because the way I am seeing this, my roommate, sir, he might disgrace you there. So that is why sir, I don't want you to actually involve yourself in something like this. Because that's why you are sick. Sorry I took uh, long. Ah, please, man of God, manage it please. I told you before not to bother yourself. <laughs> yeah? right. It's alright, thank you very much. Excuse me sir. Be my guy. How far? <laughs> <laughs> you see, Toby, I plan on surprising you today. Uh -uh. And thank God my pastor is here to be a witness to it. You see, sir, when I went to the company you recommended me to and I got the job, I pleaded with them that I have a friend, my roommate, who also studied the same course with me and is good at it. I pleaded with them that he needs the job and it's so important to him. After due consideration, they asked me to tell him to come with his seat 
so he can also get the job. <laughs> Toby, so you now have a Toby. Toby! Uh, I'm watching this off now. No, nothing, nothing. You now have a job. You should be joyful. <laughs> See, after Pastor finish praying for us, you have to go inside, get dressed so we can go and submit your CV and my documents. Daddy, please, sir. Pray for us. Toby. Come down so that daddy will pray for us. Well, you guys should stand. Stand first. Just sit down. Um, before I pray for you guys, there is something I want to ask you, Shego. How long have you known this, your roommate? Toby. Yes. We've been roommates right from school. Practically, we do everything together. We eat together. He's like a brother to me already. Do you trust him? Yes, sir. I trust Toby with my life. Toby, I want you to say those things you were telling me about your friend. Say them out now. Toby, what did you tell my pastor about me? Toby, what did you tell my pastor about me? My pastor, please. What did he say about me? Well, um, it would be nice you hear it yourself as I play it out. Because I deliberately asked him to go and get me a glass of water. And when he left, I decided to record what he was going to tell me. Hear it yourself. This, my roommate Shegun, has a very bad habit. And that habit has made people reject him. Hmm? Sir, that habit is stealing. Toby! Sir, I'm just telling you, sir. So he does not stain your name in that company. Jesus! Because the way I am seeing this, my roommate, sir, he might disgrace you there. Huh? Toby, so you can say such a thing about me? Shall I please, not be so a beg. Please, sir. This is the handwork of the devil, please. The devil? Now, let me ask you. Those things you said about him, are they true? Speak! Speak! He must say, it's a lie that you know. Ah. Hmm? It's a lie. Why would you lie against your own brother, your own friend? Shall I beg now? Look away, we'll see them hand. <laughs> now, can you see the person you are blackmailing? Can you see that he went all out planning good for you? Planning for you to also get a job? He was making plans beyond himself, just for your own good. And all you could always do is to tarnish his image, is to always do something to bring him down. I can also see in the spirit that you are responsible for the breakup that happened between him and his fiancée. So you, you, you told her a whole lot of lies about your friend. And that was why she left him. She got a big name. Don't be for you! No verse, no Sir, sir, it's not like that. It's not like, she could not be so I can also see in the spirit that you have been responsible for all the jobs he has been losing ah, 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 ah. because of what you tell people about him. Please, sir. What has he done to you? He's a devil. 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 Toby, why? Toby, why? It's not intentional, sir. He's a devil. 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 He's a dev